let's get into it. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna to be doing my April beauty favorites. I feel like, I mean, I have like a good amount of things to share with you guys, but I also feel like I don't have a lot to share with you guys. For some odd reason, I just feel like I haven't maybe worn makeup as often in the month of April to have like a whole list of favorites, but uh, I do have some things to share with you guys that I've been using a lot of in April, so let's get into it. Also, that's not what you think it is. Uh, don't demonetize on YouTube, it's a palm tree. I'm gonna start off with the Complexion. I've been wearing two foundations in the month of April the most, and they're both stick foundations. Go figure. First one is the Makeup Revolution Fast Base Stick Foundation. I have freaking been obsessed with this. Every time I want to do my makeup, I have been reaching for these. I did a whole video reviewing it, doing a wear test. So if you want to know how it applies, looks on the skin, and wears throughout the day, definitely check out that video. I'll put the little eye. I don't know what side it's on, but I'll put it in the eye if you guys want to check that out. But I have been so obsessed with it. And the other stick foundation I've been really liking is the Lancome. God, I don't know how to say this. Taint Idol Ultra Wear Makeup Stick. This kind of came to me as a surprise. I got this in PR thinking they were just like contour and highlight sticks, but they were actually like my foundation colors. So I tested it out and I became obsessed. They look so beautiful, natural on the skin. It's like a soft matte, but like it gives you good coverage and it lasts all day long and just... I don't know, it just looks so pretty. And I love stick foundations. Ow, hello. Um, they're really fast to use and a lot of them just don't look good on my skin after a while because they like start breaking down. These and the Makeup Revolution just look so bomb all day long and I love it. I have been obsessed with this concealer. This is from Milk Makeup. It's the Flex Concealer. I use the shade Fair, which is a really nice color for me. This is so bomb. It's so good. The only like con I have is the packaging sometimes a little stopper inside comes out with it and then oh there you go it did it again so it comes out with it and it's just it's a mess but like I don't know why it's doing that it pretty much does it every time I use it other than the packaging flaw it's an amazing concealer it goes on super creamy and lightweight but it gives you just like the right amount of coverage it doesn't look cakey and gross and like a crease fall under my eyes so yeah. While we're on the topic of milk makeup, let's talk about the Kush Mascara. I'm pretty sure you've heard about it by now. It's been like kind of like a phenomenon. If you haven't heard about this mascara, it is Milk's newest addition to their line and it, yes, it actually does have cannabis oil in it and no, it's not going to make you you know what? I don't know what I'm allowed to say on YouTube, okay? I truly love this mascara so much. Ever since I went to a little event for it and tried it out, I have been wearing only this mascara. Yes, I did go to an event, but that in no way changes like my opinion about it. I'm not being paid or sponsored to talk about this. I genuinely really, really like it. Uh, it just makes my lashes look beautiful. I'm wearing it today. They just look really long without looking spidery or clumpy. It doesn't make my lashes feel like hard and crispy. And I don't personally find that it transfers or falls onto my face or like my under eye. It lasts all day long and I really really like it and the fact that it has cannabis oil in it It's gonna like have a long-term good effect for your lashes It conditions it and all that good jazz But mostly it's a great mascara and this thing is so heavy to knock somebody out with this I feel like the only brow product I've been using this month is the the balm ferocious brow pencil in the shade light brown It's what I have on right now. I Just really like it. I mean, it's a really nice retractable pencil. It's nothing like to lose your marbles over but I've been reaching for this a lot and I really like it so I thought I would just like mention it in this video since that's the point of this video right let's talk about some cheek products Morphe recently came out with like a buttload of new things like bronzer duos blush trios blush palettes highlighters so on and so forth so a bronzer I've been really liking I've been using this a lot is the Brontour in the shade Celebutante I don't know. But you have like a really nice matte and a more like shimmery shade. I like mixing the two together. I find that that gives me the nicest color. It's not like super shimmery or anything like that. It's just super pretty. It's a nice warm bronzy shade without looking so orange on my skin. And then we have these blush trios which I've been really really liking. My favorite is the Pop of Rose. And so what it looks like inside this shade right here is my favorite. If Jess was going to be a blush shade, she'd probably be this one. <laughs> It's a beautiful matte, like everyday dusty rose shade, and I think it just looks good with like any type of look. And then we have the Pop of Coral palette. I really like these two shades right here. I use this one the most if I want something more soft and peachy. It's so pretty. The formula of these are really, really nice, and I like that there's a matte, and then the middle shade is usually like a shimmery shade. 
I don't use shimmery ones, but if I want it, I have options. Some more blushes I've been liking. This is also a blush trio. It's the The Balm Girls Getaway Trio. You have Balm Springs, Balm Beach, and Balm Desert. This is what it looks like inside. It just pleases my soul. They are all matte. They are all perfect, and I love every single shade. I use these two the most. This one's like a little bit on the darker side. You can almost wear that as like a bronzer, but these two are my favorites. Again, just shades and blushes. That's that's what it is. I love the formula, and I like that it's just like an easy travel-y thin palette more options sometimes when you talk too much you need a lip touch up i jessica have way too many highlighters but the one highlighter or like the brand of highlighters that i always find myself coming back to and loving and obsessing over is ofra highlighters so my favorite highlighter of april definitely has to be ofra highlighters this is not like a specific thing, but the fact that it's a little palette that has three of their highlighter shades, it's very easy to travel with and to just have on hand. You have three shades and I like mixing all of them together. They are just the most blinding, pigmented, creamy on the skin, not chunky, doesn't emphasize your pores highlighter and they are so beautiful. I think they're like one of the best highlighters out there and you just can't go wrong. So I've kind of been like, obsessing over this again. This is something I have tried out recently in my Makeup Revolution video, the same one that I did the foundation stick test in. This is the Makeup Revolution and Soph, oh, I can't open it, Soph highlighter palette. Lord have mercy on me. This thing is beautiful. I've been reaching for this a lot too lately. It's, you just have so many varieties of colors. I usually stick with like these five right here. I know that one looks crazy, but it's, oh, you guys, look, look, look at that. Are you ready? If you can pick up this palette, I highly recommend it. I think this month has been the month of eyeshadow palettes for me. Quick little disclaimer, these palettes I love, they're fantastic and I'm reaching for them. But I'm one person, there's so many eyeshadows I can wear and I don't even wear makeup every single day. So I haven't worn them like a buttload of times. But I really, really enjoy it and I would highly recommend you guys check it out if you're interested. So I may have not used it like 500 times, but they're like, they're bomb ass palettes. So first up we have the Makeup Revolution and Soph eyeshadow palette. I also used this in the Makeup Revolution video. These are the shades inside. This mirror is huge and I don't want to blind you guys. Honestly, I was blown away by it. Those metallics are so pigmented and beautiful and the mattes are so creamy and blendable. Everything is just fantastic and for the price, it's just a really good palette to check out if you're interested and you love like the color combination. So here are just a few colors from the palette swatch on my fingers and I'll put it on the back of my hand. Like look at that green shade and I still have so much product on my fingers like they're just really nice and I really like this palette. Next up we have the BH Cosmetics Weekend Festival eyeshadow palette and I also did a video on this. It was my trying new products, like my most recent one. Oh my god, I was like so impressed and blown away by this. I was like not expecting it. Not that I don't expect anything great from BH Cosmetics, but it just kind of like blew me out of the water. The bright colors are so pigmented and it's such a high quality eyeshadow palette and I highly recommend it for anybody who wants to try colors. You also have like some neutral shades in there as well, but this this is this is fantastic do you see that teal color and the yellow like these colors are just so beautiful i actually really like this like little color combination hmm inspired next up we have the kkw and mario eyeshadow palette and this is definitely a palette i've been using a lot more on a daily basis because it does have a lot of neutral shades it's something like i take with me if i need to take my makeup travel whatever it has like everything I need to create like my Jess look, you know, because I don't wear colorful eyes every day. I really do like it. I think the quality of the shadows are really nice. I'm not like disappointed by anything. I did create a video on this, so you guys can check that out to see how it performs and what I think of it. I did mention in that video that I bought it basically for the name of these two shadows, Libra and Armenian. Armenia. Armenia or Armenian? Armenian. You know, it's not something like I'm saying go out and you have to buy this. But if you're interested in this palette and you like her line and you like Mario or you're just like intrigued, go for it. But it's like you probably have these shadows in some of your other palettes if you are an eyeshadow palette collector. Oh my god, breathe Jess. I am very aware that I talk too much and ramble. Uh, also, we need more gloss. And the last palette is a very recent favorite. And when I say recent, I mean like today. <laughs> 
it's the ColourPop and Shayla Perception Palette. I am wearing that on my eyes right now. I filmed a look on it, but I was just blown away. Again, I love the colors in this palette. I definitely can see myself reaching for this. You can create a lot of neutral looks. You can do smoky, colorful eyes. You can do a lot with it. I'm very just, I love it. And I know that I like wore it for the first time today, but still I'm gonna be using it a lot. And I thought I would mention it because it's still April. I mean, it is April right now while I'm filming, but this is probably gonna go up sometime in May. That's why my calendar says May. This is kind of like behind the scenes, I'm cheating. Uh, it's not May today, so yeah. How long have I had this smudge on my upper lip? How long? How rude. You might be asking yourself, Jess, no lip favorites? What's happening? What's wrong with you? Honestly, I don't know. I haven't really been wearing like one specific lip product a lot this month. I've just been wearing a lot of different things here and there, but like nothing is really popping out to me in the moment. Uh, I can stop filming and probably remember something and kick myself for it, but honestly, I don't think that there's something I've been obsessed with in the month of April. But for anybody who's curious what I'm wearing on my lips right now, this is the Pixie Beauty and Chloe Morello Gloss in the shade Cake. It's a beautiful sparkly gloss and it's very juicy on the lips and it feels good, it's not sticky. I mean, I always keep this in my purse and I pop it on when I want a gloss, so I guess that's like something I wear often. So you can count that as a lip product I've been loving. There you go. So those are some of my April beauty favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments down below if any of these are also your favorites or what your favorites were this month. As usual, don't forget to follow me on Twitter, Messy Jessie Beauty. You guys can follow me on Snapchat if you if you want. Jessie Jet and Instagram Makeup by Jessie. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, I'd appreciate if you do so before you go. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys!